Good evening. It's Thursday, May 27th. So as you can see, I've made some progress on flying fish and I seem to have settled on five so far. Uh, you may notice if you look closely, um, I've yet to do the black lines. So it's sort of a reverse uh, paint by numbers. <laughs> okay, so I did lines with pencil and then I blocked in the colors and this way the black lines will ride over those colors and hopefully allow me <clears throat> better control to get little nuances of space and so forth. And then, you know, dabbing on the, the quote unquote, you know, water blue. So, and then after that, the whole thing gets uh, covered in commercial clear glaze that I'll just sponge on. Uh, I like the sponging in part because it's, um, it just, you know, the sponge just touches the surface and comes off. So I'm, I'm dabbing it and that means I'm not wiping it the way I would with a brush and I don't want the brush to, to move anything. You know, the, the challenge here is I've made all the marks with the underglaze. Uh, I want that to stay and by and large it does, but I'm, I'm trying not to take chances and trying not to have, um, have the, the clear glaze really be obvious at all. I could fire it without a glaze. The, the you know, clay is going to get hot enough, the, the underglaze is going to get hot, hot enough, but <clears throat> the result would be sort of a dry looking surface and a drier surface to the touch, which might actually be a closer match to how things are in the Minoan palaces, but I think I'm going to prefer having a little durability and um, that extra smoothness to the touch. This chair may end up out in a garden too and the, the glaze will give it an extra layer of protection. These actually got started in part thinking about how rapid outdoor furniture deteriorates. And so I was thinking, well, you know, ceramic lasts a long time. It's amazingly durable, it lasts centuries. So what I came up with was a shape that um, water can't get into. At least, not unless you stick a hose in it or so forth. So although the backrest is open on the bottom, and that's how the inside of the chair breathes. If it gets rained on or whatever, the water just drops off. And the seat is also curved because as any of you with experience with outdoor furniture know, sitting in a puddle is no fun. So progress, still hoping to have it done and in the kiln tomorrow, but with the holiday weekend and so forth, we probably won't see it finished till next Friday, week from tomorrow. So have a good day.